when you try to recreate a new, if you like, state system, you need people's support. You need people to be able to provide the, the thinking, uh, provide the sentiments, to participate in the process so, you know, to make sure that it becomes legitimate. But what he's doing is imposing it and using coercion as a means by which he wants to, to achieve what he's trying to do. And by doing that, he steps on a lot of people's toes. For years now, Commodore Bani Marama has said he is changing Fiji for the better. But time is running out in his 2014 election deadline. Sources from within Fiji say he is alienating the very people that could be helping him build that democracy. Stephen, where do you think he has gone wrong? Instead of co-opting them, he's basically crushing them. In politics, you don't crush somebody and get away with it. They will come back at you at some point. What about the chiefs? After the coup, he dissolved the Great Council of Chiefs. D does he have any of them on side? He's, he's very much a long ahead with his own chief. Uh, they don't like him, and he doesn't like them. Uh, they may have the chief in mana, but he has the guns. <laughs> We've recently seen senior army officers such as Peter Driti and Tavita Mara sidelined for alleged sedition. How does he keep the support of the army while he has control of the parliament? In terms of the rank and file, he basically has control over them because these are the guys, the guys with the guns. Um, give them pay rise, you know, give them lots of things in terms of their welfare. So the, well, the ordinary soldiers really like him for doing all those things. Although they disagree with him politically, but in terms of bread and butter issue, they say, oh, this guy's feeding us. So he, he plays the game pretty well. So there's no chance of a mutiny from within the army? The two guys who are most, most likely to do it are now being sidelined. He has his own men within the system or within the country, observing and spying on, on others and getting feedbacks. So even senior officers are scared to talk to another senior officer. Is what do you think of this idiot? Because <laughs> uh, you're not sure who you, who you trust. So there's a lot of distrust amongst them, a lot of suspicion as well. So are elections going to happen at all? I mean, what, what do you think? Well, that is it. I mean, that is, that is assumption. Hopefully it will. Say they do hold elections in, in 2014. What then happens to Bani Marama? He's thinking of his exit strategy. What does he do afterwards? If the election takes place, he loses the election. He'll be in big trouble. And then if he wins the election, he has to make sure that he has somebody in the military who won't do to him what he did to the, you know, to the previous Prime Minister. So win or lose those elections, do you think he will be pursued legally by the system he puts in place? Um, I'm absolutely certain that uh, after the election, even if he wins, there will be lots of, lot, lots of court cases against him in relation to uh, sedition, charges, uh, treason. So he needs a very good lawyer.